Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, long time no see. Uh, life's just been extremely hectic for the past couple months. Uh, so, uh, just haven't felt like making anything. But, uh, as you can tell by the title, uh, I have uh, quite a few bit of uh, new uh, Blu-ray and 4K pickups to uh, talk about uh, for my collection. This is kind of basically been in between like the past couple months and also I picked up a lot of stuff on I picked up some stuff on Black Friday and a lot of stuff for uh, Christmas as well so without further ado I'll get to it um, and try not to talk about each movie a whole lot so I don't uh, make this movie three hours long but um, first up we got uh, The Quick of the Dead The Quick and the Dead uh, Sam Raimi western movie from the uh mid 90s uh this is a really really cool um movie I'm not a huge fan of westerns but uh quite enjoyed this one um just kind of this big like dueling torment you have all these like um cool characters and all this uh, great story that goes along with it and i have like a, a really young leonardo dicaprio and um russell crowe and of course sharon stone stars in it a uh, really really cool movie really underrated and i think underseen uh, next up, we got Killer Clowns from Outer Space on Blu-ray. Uh, I had said in a recent video, I think, that I just watched this uh, a few months ago for the first time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think everybody has seen this movie by now. Just great, quirky, fun, and uh, had to own it. Uh, so the next couple movies are going to be some uh, Disney slash uh, Pixar movies. I kind of wanted to uh, uh, strength strengthen my... Uh, selection that I have, so I bought uh, The Hunchback from Nader Dom. Um, this actually comes with this and the sequel, which I didn't even know there was a sequel, but uh, it's kind of like, um, I think I have um, my copy of The Fox and the Hound the same way, where it comes for, where, where, uh, it comes with both movies. That's just kind of the only copy that I could find of it. Um, but yeah, I only bought it for the first movie. The first uh, Hunchback... Um, one of the best, um, one of the best Disney films for sure. Um, really, really awesome. Uh, then you got The Incredibles. Um, yeah, this came out at the perfect age for me, and uh, watch it now, and I still absolutely love it. It's such a great, uh, really cool, um, really cool superhero flick. Another one came out at the same time, Finding Nemo. You know. I don't have to say a whole lot about these ones. These are just, you know, classic, great Pixar movies. You really can never get around with Pixar. And I uh, got Ratatouille as well as the last one I picked up. And, uh, yeah, I, I love um, all three of those pretty much the same. They're It's always hard to rank, like, my favorite uh, Pixar movies because the top ones are just all, like, really close to each other. Uh, the next section I have is a, uh, a bunch of comic book movies, uh, at least the Blu-rays. And uh, the first one I picked up, which isn't really a comic book movie, but it's a super villain origin story, I should say, is Brightburn. Um, yeah, I haven't watched I haven't watched this since it uh, when it first came out, but I remember you know um, really digging it. Uh, basically, a uh, Superman story, but if Superman was evil. Essentially, uh, written by James Gunn, who just uh, ruined the DC universe, but, you know, I guess I won't hold that against him for this movie, at least. So, but yeah, that was really cool stuff. Um, next up, I got this really cool edition of Death of Superman. The animated film it comes with the, um, uh, what comic... Is it? Uh, it's kind of. I think it's the follow-up comic to um, the Wake, is what it's called. Um, so it comes with that, and of course the Blu-ray, the animated movie. This is one of the bet, uh, the definitely one of the better DC uh, animated movies in that universe. Um, yeah, really great stuff. Uh, definitely my favorite portrayal of uh, Superman. Definitely my favorite Superman movie outside of like Man of Steel and the Snyder stuff. So. Um, yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, I guess I should have had this one with my, uh, Disney movies, but I didn't. Um, that is Pinocchio. Um, uh, absolute classic, one of my favorites. And, uh, uh, Del Toro's Pinocchio. I actually like, 
don't know if I liked it as much as this one. I They're pretty much the same, in my opinion. Both just masterpieces and um, different ways, I think so. But yeah, the original was fantastic. And uh, this one is sort of a superhero origin story. And nobody really considers it that. But if you think about it, it really is. And that's uh, Jingle All The Way. I... Cannot believe it took me so long to buy this movie. Like, I watched this all the time growing up, and, uh, I love this movie. <laughs> and this is, like, one of those movies where, um, I'm really glad a lot of people have come around to, um, over the years. Because, you know, they just don't make movies like this anymore. These kind of just, like, fun, kind of cheesy, like, family movies. Um, I, yeah, I, I just find this movie hilarious. Uh, great satire, too, so... Yeah, love that one. Um, yeah, I uh, I bought uh, Ghost Rider. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, you know it's a comfort food comic book movie for me. You know, I know it's nothing special, but uh, you know it's Nick Cage. You know, I used to watch this one when it came out too, and uh, I remember back then like not knowing any better and just thinking this was, like, such a really awesome movie. But, uh, you know, it's definitely not as bad as what people say it is. Kind of the same thing with, like, a lot of the comic book movies that came around at that time, like, um, Ang Lee's Hulk, which I actually think is a really good movie, and, like, the Fantastic Four movie that came out around that time. It's kind of, this is kind of the same movie, same vein as that movie, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. Uh, next up... Uh, another one, I'm not sure who this, um, comic belonged to, actually, um, but it's Dread, uh, the movie that came out a few years ago. Um, yeah, just a really cool movie, um, maybe I don't like this as much as, as I love other people do, I guess, like, people really, um, seem to, like, absolutely love this movie, I think it's really cool, it's kind of one of those, like, rainy day movies, where you just, like, if you want to watch something, like, just dark and gritty, but not a whole lot of, like, not a ton of, like, weight to it or anything. Uh, with, like, great action, really well filmed, well, well, um, filmed, really well made. Um, yeah, just a really cool movie, though. Really do enjoy that one. Uh, another one that I had just seen for the first time not too long ago is, uh, Constantine. And I wanted to check it out, of course, because the, uh, they announced they're doing a sequel to this, which hopefully they still end up doing. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool movie. Um, really, really underrated. A whole, not a whole lot of people talk about this, but um, yeah, just great story. A uh, really cool character movie. Just uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the sequel if it you know actually does happen. Uh, next up, a movie that I hated for a very long time. The last time I watched it, I was like. You know what, I was uh, way too harsh on this movie, that is The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, as for the second one, I'll never watch that again. I don't think I could ever be too harsh on that movie, but I think it just had to do with like my love for the Raimi movies, and this one basically being a retelling of his origin story, and not being as good. It's sort of my camera cut out there. Um, but anyways, Amazing Spider-Man... Um, Pretty good stuff. Really solid, I think so. Definitely better than a lot of the Marvel stuff that comes out these days. Um, picked up Kick-Ass on Blu-ray 2. Um, I remember liking this movie the first time I watched it, but it just feels like a movie I should like more than I do. Um, so I definitely wanted to pick it up again. And um, yeah, I definitely want to give this one a rewatch for sure. But I liked it. And, uh, now moving on to the 4Ks that I bought, and, uh, these first two are ones that I picked up on, uh, Black Friday, first of which being Dune. I came out last year, um, this is a really great movie, um, just great world building, uh, great scope, which is why I wanted it on 4K, um, yeah, it, I feel like most people, uh, don't need to hear about that one, um. We have The Northman, which came out, um, I guess last year, now in 2022, uh, but, yeah, just, uh, 
spoiler alert, uh, I'll be doing a list um, of my favorite movies of the year, and uh, this one will be on there somewhere. Um, yeah, I really love this one. Robert Eggers just doesn't miss. <laughs> Such a cool movie. Speaking of a movie from 2022, we have The Batman. Um, yeah, um, as, uh, people that follow me and know me know that I'm a huge Batman, uh, fan, and, uh, I was very much looking forward to this movie, and, uh, it definitely delivered, so, uh, don't, again, don't want to talk a whole lot about it, because I'll be talking about it more in my next video. Uh, another 4K pickup I did was, uh, Joker. Um, it's my second favorite film of all time. You know, I, just something I wanted to get on 4K, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, no, I could talk about that maybe forever. Now, uh, this one, I already own this one on Blu-ray too, which I'll still keep the Blu-ray copy that I have, because I have it on Steelbook. Um, but I wanted to pick this one up, because it is the ultimate cut of Watchmen, and plus, this movie's gonna look just amazing on 4K as well. But yeah, um, my favorite Zack Snyder movie, and it's honestly a movie that, weirdly, I didn't like all that much the first couple times I watched it, and then it's, it just, like, instantly clicked with me, and, uh, just, I love all of these characters, and of course, it being a Zack Snyder movie, it's just, uh, just uh, absolute eye candy. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait to watch that on 4K, which I don't even know a 4K player. I finally have a 4K TV that I got on Black Friday. Uh, next one, another one of my, uh, well, this is my fourth favorite film of all time, and, uh, one that I am excited to check out on 4K as well. Um, that's Unbreakable. Uh, the best superhero origin story, in my opinion. I just... Oh, man, this movie just does it for me in just so many different ways. Uh, yeah, but I'm not trying to do reviews about these movies, but uh, you're really excited to check out the transfer because the Blu-ray is very grainy. I'm hoping uh, they clean it up a lot. And last but not least, a uh, brand new release that came out in December and uh, another top 10 favorite movie of mine, my favorite uh, slasher film. Black Christmas, of course, picked up the uh, Screen Factory 4K that they put out. Um, yeah, honestly, like, um, just one of those movies that I can't find any faults with. I think this movie is absolute perfection. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, again, I don't want to do a whole lot of reviews to it. I'm just really excited to check out, check out the uh, transfer for that movie. Uh, so, um, that's gonna do it, uh, let me know what you think of my pickups, and, uh, as I've, uh, kind of stated, uh, my next, uh, video will be my top 15 favorite movies of 2022, um, I still need to check out a few, so it might not be for a little while, or a few weeks or so, whatever, um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely stay tuned for that, um, that's it for the, for now, and I'll see you in the next one.